Hey guys, it's Izar, and today, today is the second video. Also today, it's really freaking cold outside. I freaking hate the cold. I know I'm a German Shepherd, and I know I got this luxurious fur coat. I mean, look at that. But it's freaking cold, and I hate the cold. I hate the cold so much that I wish the cold would disappear forever because the cold is miserable and it's mean and it's not friendly at all. The cold kind of sucks. But today we have our second video. Let's get into today's Twitter deep dive. This tweet I actually wrote myself. Being a fluffy boy generally makes my day like a million times better. Let's just talk about some of the best things in the world, okay? Being a dog is probably one of the best things that has ever happened to me. My favorite thing to do is to be able to share that experience with my friend. The majority of fursuiting is bringing the joy of being a dog to other people or whatever other species you might be. Even if you don't happen to have a fursuit, the great thing about fursuiting is it's a social it's a social activity being a fluffy boy might make my day a million times better but it also is fantastic because it can also really brighten up everybody else's day around me that's really the magic of fursuiting everybody gets to have fun with it everybody gets to engage tweet number two today this tweet was from my pal Timber Puppers, he's really a great guy. He has a personality that is larger than life. So Timber Puppers tweet was, it's fine to be masculine, but you don't have to be. You don't have to be manly. You can be emotional. You can be affectionate. You can be vulnerable. You can cry. Don't let society tell you otherwise. Wow, okay, that tweet is really, I think, it really hits home for a lot of people. I think society, especially growing up, expects a certain kind of, you know, portrayal of what you should and should not do. For example, maybe some people don't think I should dress up as a dog. Well, <laughs> I don't really care. I'm sure a lot of you guys share the sentiment. There is this image that if you're a guy, you have to be tough. You can't cry, you can't show emotion, you can't show feelings. Well, that is complete baloney. Who needs to be living somebody else's version of what they think is how you should act for your life? It's none of their business how you should act, it's your life. It's your story, it's your journey. You write, your own destiny, especially in the fandom. I feel that so many of us are so open with each other and so, so friendly and it's really an amazing thing that we have in our community. Yeah, those are my, those are my thoughts on that. All right guys, so for today's fursuit challenge, we've got push-ups. I am gonna see how many push-ups I can do in fursuit. I just did my chest workout earlier today so this should be interesting. Okay guys, so today we have the word of the day. What do we love to do as animals? <laughs> to bark, if you're a dog like me. We like to chase cats, of course. I mean, chasing cats is like the best thing ever. In all reality, when I'm at a convention or when I'm hanging out with friends, 
I absolutely love to drink, right? I love to relax, I love to sit back and have a, have a nice tall glass of beer or have, have a mixed drink or something. I like to be intoxicated. So if you take intoxicated and you take the word dog, you have, are you ready for this? Indogsticated. Indogsticated. You have the word indogsticated. You're a dog. You like to drink booze. You go around everywhere. You go crazy. You bite people. You chase people. And you maybe stumble around a little bit, but then you get back up. You chase more people, and then you drink some more. That is the magic of being a dog. At least for me. I don't have a problem. You're the one with the problem. Bark. All right, guys, so to our coming to a close, but I have a question for you. What is your favorite part about being in the furry fandom? For me, I gotta say, it is hands down my friends. Spending time with my friends, it's, it's probably one of my absolute favorite things to do. That's the most important thing about being in the furry fandom for me. Tell me what you think. If you like my videos and you'd like to see some more, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, also, if you want to see more from me, consider following me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm really active on those platforms and I will frequently post my crazy dog thoughts and tons of pictures and gifts are also posted on both those platforms, usually two to three times a week. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Until next time, bye.